My brothers and sisters in Christ, a very warm welcome to our Redemptorist community here in Clapham. My name is Brother Mike and on this day my mission thought is about patience. You may have heard this short prayer, Lord give me patience but please hurry. Patience and self-control have never been more sorely tested than during this Covid lockdown. Patience is exercised when we resign our will to the will of God and accept our crosses as coming from the hand of God for our own welfare. And this may be difficult for us to accept. Our individual burdens, whatever they may be, are God's gift and have divine blessings for us if we bear them in faith and love. When we call upon God for help, he will likely not take the load from our shoulders but rather grace us with the strength to carry the burden. Like muscles, virtues require training. They can be thought of as emotions that have been trained. True patience is a difficult virtue to practice because of our selfishness and of our fear of the cross. And it has never been more difficult than during COVID because of the sickness, misfortune and stress that is everywhere. The continued pursuit and practice of patience, however, will bring about a greater love of Christ and our neighbour. We will become more tolerant of others' faults, more forgiving and more ready to help others. As with any virtue, patience and Christ-likeness are obtained by degrees, like training a muscle over time. First, we must have a genuine and serious desire to acquire patience and this must be activated through daily prayer. Secondly, we must resolve to stop small crosses and contradictions from destroying our peace of mind and soul. And thirdly, meditation on the passion of Christ will increase our love of God and arouse in us an earnest desire of imitation and particularly the virtue of patience. If this strange lockdown experience teaches us anything, it should be patience. After years of being overwhelmed by ever increasing demands on our times and our minds, being forced to restructure our lives is a chance to rediscover patience and self-restraint. Let's finish with the words of Pierre Telhard de Chardin. Above all, trust in the slow work of God. We are quite naturally impatient in everything to reach the end without delay. We should like to skip the intermediate stages. We are impatient of being on the way to something unknown, something new. And yet, it is the law of all progress that it is made by passing through some stages of instability and that it may take a very long time. Give our Lord the benefit of believing that his hand is leading you and accept the anxiety of feeling yourself in suspense and incomplete. Amen.